heaven. Girl is on fire. This girl is on fire. Hey guys, it's Amy, and I'm back for my one week post stop. Um, had my appointment yesterday, and it went great. Um, so let's get to those pounds lost. Um, so since my pre-op diet started, um, and I had my last appointment at the doctor's office, I've lost, lost 17 pounds, so woohoo! Um, and since starting this journey, like my first ever appointment there, which I want to say was like May, I'm down 31 pounds, so super exciting news, was a great appointment, um, they're very pleased with my progress, um, so that's exciting, um, I get to go to pureed stage on Tuesday, so super excited for that stage. Um, the liquids are getting to me and the protein <laughs> shakes, so I'm excited to incorporate some new foods into my diet. Um, and then in two weeks, I'll go see the dietitian, so that'll be exciting because I get to get on the scale again. <laughs> um, so everything's going good. Um, I still have some pain in my lower left side um, below that bigger incision. It's gradually gotten better. I can get out of bed easier. Still not able to sleep on my side. So that's kind of, uh, uh, it drives me crazy because I, like I said, I'm someone who sleeps on my side. So sleeping on my back has gotten a little difficult, but yesterday was like my first day out since I got home from uh, surgery. So I was all about it. Like I even took Blake to work and I came home and I got ready for my appointment. Went to Target, um, got him a little thank you present for taking such good care of me, and then went to my doctor's appointment, and then of course went downstairs and saw my coworkers. Um, so that was exciting. Uh, very busy day though for me as my first day out, so I was exhausted. So I slept really good yesterday, or like last night. I was out by seven, um, and actually slept pretty much through the night. I got up at one thirty, um, but went back to sleep about three fifteen. So that's pretty good for me because excuse me I've only really been able to sleep like a couple hours at a time so that was exciting um all the girls at work were super excited to see me and I go back on Tuesday so that's exciting too because I'm going insane here at home um you don't really think about it like I know like when I work all the time I'm like oh I just want a day off but like when you have to be at home by yourself and you're not out doing something or on vacation, it stinks. So, so ready to go back to work on Tuesday. I know when I told the nurse practitioner yesterday, she's like, Tuesday as in like next Tuesday? And I'm like, yeah, I'm like, I'm ready to go back. So, they're going to get my letter sent to work. Um, so, I'm excited. Um, hopefully, this pain goes away. Like I said, though, daily it's going away slowly, slowly, slowly. Um, and I don't know if any of you have ever had this happen to me. I know I've had it happen multiple times, but like on the side of my right foot, I don't know if I pulled something or if a muscle's bruised or what, but like it hurts to walk. And I'm like walking around here all like crippled like today. So that stinks, but I hope it goes away because I'm going to hang out with my mother-in-law and our friend Steffi tomorrow to get out of the house again. Um, go get some more protein shakes. <laughs> So that's exciting. Um, so yeah, I had a good one week post-op. Um, people can say they can see a difference. I can somewhat see a difference too, um, like in my face and sometimes like, you know, down in my chest area, it's gotten a little smaller. Blake says my feet look smaller, like they don't have as much maybe like fluid on them as before. And I've heard like you do go down shoe sizes though. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm going to have to get new shoes, I'm going to have to get new clothes, I'm going to have to go out alone. <laughs> Not really, but I'm excited to go shopping. And as I like sit here by myself during the day, I think about like everything I'm going to be able to do once this weight is off. And it's like crazy to think about. Um, so I'm excited to see what the future holds. I'm excited to get out and do these things that I wasn't able to do overweight. Um, because I've been overweight my entire life. So... Everything is going to be new to me that I couldn't do. So I'm super excited for the future. And, you know, I'm only one week post-op. And I just can't wait. Um, you know, I'm not giving up. I'm so ready to see where I go from here. So it's exciting. Um, I keep getting followers every day. So thanks for subscribing. Um, and just watch my journey because it's going to be amazing. So just wanted to give you guys an update and, you know, I'm going down in the pounds. Oh my gosh, how did I forget to tell you guys? <laughs> so, 
my official weight is 293 I'm like oh my god I'm out of the 300s and not like by just like 299 or whatever no it's 293 is how much I weigh so that is crazy to me I haven't been under 300 in a long long time um when I was doing Weight Watchers I actually got to 299 and that was it so like this is crazy um so that was like put a smile on my face like I didn't even care how many pounds I lost I was under 300 so that was super exciting news and can't forget I forgot it to tell you guys but so I was super excited for that and can't wait to see it go down even more and maybe the next time I'm there I'll remember to take a picture of it <laughs> the MA doesn't think I'm crazy I'll be like, can I take a picture <laughs> um so that's exciting news and my BMI, my BMI when I first started there, um, at the very first appointment, it was like 56. It was 51 yesterday. So that's just even more crazier to me. I want that to come down, and I know it will. So things are going in the right direction for me. So super excited. Um, probably make a video next week or so. Keep you guys updated weekly on how things are going, especially since I'll start the puree stage. So... Love you guys. Um, keep following my journey. Send your friends and check back for my next video. Love ya. Bye.